Here on M5-129, we're comparing cones and cylinders. So it says, consider the popcorn containers. One is a cylindrical tub and the other is conical, meaning cone. When they are full of popcorns, the containers hold the same amount of popcorn. So they have the same volume. Calculate the volume of the cylindrical tub. So here they're telling us it has a three radius, a six height. So we'll go over and plug those into Google. So our cylinder had a radius of three, a height of six, and the volume is 169.65. Number two says, if the height of the conical container is 10.1 inches, what is the length of the radius of the cone? So we already know what the volume of this cone is because it's the same thing as the um, cylinder was. So we have that 169.65, is the volume and it's equaling, you know, it's the pi radius squared times height. And we have that the height is 10. So what we can do is we can use Google to work backwards to find the radius. So you'll want to put into Google volume of a cone, but instead we're not looking for volume. You're going to change that to radius. And you can see the very complicated equation if you want to do it yourself. But we know that the height is 10.1, and we know that the volume, as we just saw earlier, was 169.65. So it's telling us that the radius is 4, or approximately 4. Number three asks, if the length of the radius of the conical container is the same as the length of the radius of the um, cylindrical tub, what is the height of the cone? So this is a whole other question. Basically asking like what dimensions do we need to use in order for a cylinder to equal the same as a cone. Now we not all the dimensions can be the same because we know that a cone is one third of a cylinder. So let's just start with the we'll use the dimensions of the one we had previously. So that was would be pi radius squared height and this is pi it's a different radius, so I'll use a capital radius and a different height. So I'll use a capital height divided by 3. So we need these to equal each other. Well, we can take away pi because those are going to be equal. And they're saying, well, let's suppose that the radiuses are the same, in which case we could take out the, the little r squared and the capital R squared because they would be the same. So basically we're left with the height of the cylinder needs to be equal to the height of the cone that's divided by three. So if we wanted just the height of the cone alone, it makes sense that it has to be three times the height of the cylinder. Basically, if you wanted to have two containers that equaled the same amount, one was a cylinder, one was a cone, they had the same radius, you would need a cone that's three times longer than a cylinder. Probably not the most efficient shape.